What's going on YouTube world and Wilson Auto Detailing community? This is Luke with Wilson Auto Detailing and the subject of today's video is a direct comparison between the Speedmaster and the Easy Detail Brush. Now, let's get into this thing. So I love making these YouTube videos and I love researching and comparing and figuring out what is the best product, the best tool, the best, most efficient thing that's going to make your life easier as a detailer or a car enthusiast or a do-it-yourselfer. And so although these brushes both seem so similar, the question that I wanna to answer today is, are they really that similar? Now, obviously both of these brushes are dedicated for the wheels. And so the purpose of both these brushes is going to get, it's the, the idea is that these brushes get in between the spokes of the wheel and they're detailing out the brake dust that collects on the inner barrel of the wheel. Now, if you're a detailer, this is an area that you're gonna need to be concerned about. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, you may not be concerned about it, it's kind of up to you. Um, but if you're a detailer, detailing out the inner barrel of the wheel is definitely an important part. But these brushes are also very useful for getting into spaces in engines and sometimes even door jams and things like that. So they have many different uses. Now I used the Easy Detail Brush for the longest time, for like several years actually. And it's not that I don't love this product, I mean, I think it's amazing, but I always like to experiment because I want to find out if something is going to make my life easier. And you know, if you're a professional detailer, that the right brush, the right tool, the right equipment can literally bring you from zero to hero. Like it will change your whole detailing experience. So I'm on location detailing one of the cars that I do bi-weekly. It's just a maintenance car. So I don't ever have to dig in really deeply with one of these brushes to remove brake dust because it's always maintenance. It's always very clean. I'm here every two weeks, but it's a great time to, to compare these two brushes. Now once again, I used the Easy Detail brush for many years and just recently have switched to the Speedmaster brush. Now let me get in to exactly what I like and what I don't like about both of these brushes. So if you've been a part of the Wilson Auto Detailing community at all, you know that I love cleaning wheels with Meguiar's Wheel Brightener. This is my go-to, I dilute it five to one in a spray bottle, and I love this wheel cleaner because it's acidic, it reacts chemically with the brake dust so quickly, so efficiently, makes my life so, so, so much easier. Now let's talk about the Easy Detail Brush. I love this brush because yes, it's skinny, it fits into these spokes, it's got a rubber tip, and it's got a rubber, a rubber plating on the back here to keep you from going too far into the wheel and then not being able to get it out. And so that's awesome. And the rubbering that's placed around the metal is an amazing safety precaution that actually both of these brushes have. All the metal is rubberized or has a rubber covering at any sort of exposed area to keep you from scratching any of the wheels. Now, what do I not like about this brush? Well, let me go ahead and use it on this wheel and show you kind of what I'm talking about. All right, so this brush is great. I mean, in almost every way, I love it. But here are a few pitfalls that I find with this. When compared to the Speedmaster, these bristles are just not as firm and not as sturdy. These bristles seem to be just more aggressive or more stiff in that I don't know if the fibers are thicker or what it is exactly, but when I compare it with this, these bristles are just much more soft and much uh, less durable. And it doesn't mean that these are not soft. Neither of these are gonna scratch your wheel. But I'm saying this in a negative sense. I don't like how soft these bristles are because it makes it difficult to really aggressively clean some, some wheels that are really, really caked with brake dust on the inner barrel. And it's very difficult if you don't have an aggressive enough brush to get the brake dust cleaned off because brake dust is so corrosive and it so seriously needs to be cleaned heavily. So the, the softness of these bristles is something that 
I'm not a huge fan of. Now, the only other main complaint that I have with this easy detail brush is the rubber tip at the end here came off. And that's ultimately why I switched to the Speedmaster because I've gone through several of these brushes and the same thing kept happening. The rubber tip at the very end here came off and you can see the exposed metal tip here. And that's just a huge no-no in the detailing world. That's a huge safety caution, safety hazard. Like that can't happen because this is gonna scratch wheels. So I figured out how to maneuver it without the metal piece touching, but eventually I was like, look, I just gotta get a new brush. And so I went to the Speedmaster. So really, this rubber tip here seems to me to not be either the adhesive is kind of low quality um, or something like that, but the rubber tip seems to be less durable and really tends to just come off kind of quickly. Now, my new favorite brush, the Speedmaster. This, in comparison to that easy detail brush, the bristles are not only an amazing level of just like softness, but they're also extremely durable and extremely firm. And so it makes the cleaning process so much easier, especially when you're attacking brake dust that has just been sitting for forever. These bristles stand up so straight and they don't weaken. As I'm using this brush over and over and over again on all my different customers' cars, on all these different locations, the bristles are still just as firm as they were the day I got this. And not to mention this rubber tip almost seems to be designed a little bit differently to me in that you can see the starting and the ending of this rubber kind of melted, welded tip over this metal. In the Easy Detail brush, I couldn't see where it ended. Here I can see exactly where they put it on and exactly what it covers. And I'm not sure structurally, you know, the advantages that that has on this brush uh, in regard to kind of this not coming off, but it seems to be on there very, very, very tight. Um, they may have even melted the rubber um, to the metal, which I think is a genius idea. But this detail brush, the main reason why I prefer the Speedmaster over the Easy Detail is simply this. The bristles are just more firm and yet still so soft. And that combination for a job like this, for a tool like this, it's just unbeatable. It's got everything structurally that this brush has. And so either way you go, you're going to be making a good decision. But if I had to pick between the two to pick one over the other, I'm going to go with the Speedmaster because the firmness of the bristles. And I'm confident that this, these, these kind of less delicate or less uh, strong bristles on the Easy Detail brush, I'm confident that it's not just because I've used this a bunch, because I have used this just as much and yet the bristles seem to just hold up so much better and they're not losing any of their firmness, not losing any of their strength, and they just attack the brake dust on the innermost part of the wheel so aggressively and that is just a huge win in my detailing world for sure. So guys, if you would like to buy any of the tools or products that I talked about today, the Meguiar's Wheel Brightener or the Easy Detail or Speedmaster Brush, I'm going to link those things up in the description box below. So just click the Show More box below this video and you're going to see those tools and those products displayed. There'll be a link to each one of them to Amazon and you can buy them using my links. Also, if you are new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this one on tips and tricks, not only for the professional detailers, but also for the car enthusiasts or the do-it-yourselfers regarding products to use, tools to use, strategies to implement, business skills, communication skills, and so much more. And I do a ton of work on location at my customer's house. So this is real-time detailing for all you professionals. So guys, if you're new, consider subscribing. You can follow me on any of my social media pages. Instagram, it's going to be wilson.auto.detailing. And on my Facebook page, you can just search Wilson Auto Detailing and you'll see this picture right here come up as my profile picture. And that's gonna be my Wilson Auto Detailing page. And I would be so appreciative if you guys could like my Wilson Auto Detailing Facebook page. I'm trying to grow that page a little bit, bring some more activity on that. So I would really be appreciative if you went and followed and liked my Wilson Auto Detailing Facebook page. And once again, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, I will catch you guys next time.